So it's May the 4th, and it's the officially unofficial Star Wars day. And I made a scroll, and then I will show you how I did that. I did turn the volume down because it can be kind of loud. Music that is in Create Studio and their other app, Twinkle. And I had done this a while back in the original CS and I kind of forgot how I did it, but I think this works. And I talked through the, the type, but take, if you're interested, take what I have to share with you and you can experiment and create your own. So the first thing I did is I needed a background and I did find one very quickly in Bekteezy, I just put Starry Night, I think. Oh, sorry, I need to go to video. And it was right, actually right here. <laughs> so it didn't take me long at all. Um, if you don't have All Access Pass and you don't have Bekteezy, you certainly can bring in your own. You can look through Pexels and there's some that look like they will work here and Pixabay will have some as well. So, or you can bring in anything you want from your own um, elements that you own. So the first thing I did is I brought over my background. Then I'm gonna add now what I had added is a rectangle that I made black and then I made it full screen and actually more than full screen, but I'll show you why soon. And I just put it at the top so that as the words were scrolling up, they kind of had a little bit of a fade. And I did that with this rectangle. So what I did with the rectangle and let me just expand that. I'm here now. Let me just expand that. Where's my video? I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. What I did is I went to effects and components and I got the feather effect, put it on this rounded rectangle. Um, it's not even a rounded rectangle, but, and then I just added some fade. We'll check out how that works, how that ends up appearing once we get some text. Um, and then I also just duplicated that and I made it smaller. You can see right there that there are some, they're not matching. So it kind of gave a little fade to the edges. I made this one smaller and I put it at the bottom as the text was coming in. So again, I may change the amount of fade. This one I actually will want to flip because the fade I think is going to be on the top unless I change it. We'll have to check that out. I don't wanna to waste too much time, but we can look at it when we see the scrolling. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lock those because I do need the text to go underneath it so I don't, so I want to work between the video and my rectangles. So now what did I do with the text? I'm just going to grab some text and I actually just downloaded a free font from defont.com. Um, can't use it commercially as far as I know, but for personal use. So here, let's just write, this is, is your first line of text. Here's your, whoop. here's your second and your third and your fourth and your fifth, etc. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a little smaller to start. The time, um, the sizing and the timing, I really had to just keep adjusting a lot. So we may have to do the same here 
and we'll see how much we actually do get done. I'm going to extend this as long as my rectangles. I might extend it longer. I had it longer, but that's all that you can adjust after. I just want to make sure that these are all in the right locations. I think so. All right. So here, what I did with this, let's go over and look at my text. I have a starting animation and you can see the text down there. And then it was a long animation and then I had my end animation where it ended up at the top and it was also smaller. So if you look at my purple outline of the text box, I want to get rid of these menus. You can see that it started larger and it got smaller. You can see the purple outline getting smaller. I had to add that at the end because the, the last few lines really weren't um, getting smaller like the, the words at the top. And so it didn't really quite look like it was scrolling. At the beginning, let me put my full screen again. At the beginning, I made a 3D rotation of X and I slanted at the start and I had my scale larger. Then at the end, you can see that my scale is smaller and my X rotation also changed at the end. So let's see how we do that. Let's go to my new text that I just put. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add an animation, rotation, I think I had position and scale, but you know what, I'm not, yes, I did, I had scale I... and unique position. I'm gonna drag my end keyframe out to the end. I'm going to leave a little at the beginning and the end just so I can play around with my time with my keyframes if I need to. At the beginning, I am going to start, I don't even remember, I just looked at it, but let's do my 3D rotation. Let's do actually 42 sounds familiar because that kind of looks nice, doesn't it? So at the beginning, I'm going to have 3D rotation. Let me move this down so we can see the screen a little bit better. I'm also going to move this down to underneath my little text box. I'm sorry, my rectangle that I had put at the bottom, right down one of my rectangles. They're locked, so I can't move it right now. So the first text is underneath. Then I also want my scale to be larger. So I actually should have done that first because now my text moves up. My purple line shows me that it's centered and now I'm gonna move it down again. So here we have it at the start and it's moving up and at the end, I want, see how it's giving the faded effect to the um, text. I'm going to move it up and I'm all, and I want to make sure etc is all the way out. I'm also going to reduce the scale a little bit. And I had, whoops, sorry, wrong one you want the 3D rotation X. The beginning one was at 42 and I can't remember, but let's see what 84 looks like. But if you look, it's all the way up there. So I'm gonna move it back down. Where's my text? There it is. I think I did too much.
but we will never know. And oh, I wasn't at the end. So let's see what that looks like. I need to put that under. Let me just check. It's no longer tilted. I knew it didn't look quite right. Did I? Yeah, I have rotation. Okay. Hmm. Position scale rotation. Going to the end and it went up. Oh, there we go. All right. You know what I didn't do? I'm going to click here, easing linear. I forgot to fix the easing. So that was why it wasn't showing and I was getting confused. So here you can see it's starting to get smaller at the top and it starts to fade just a little bit from the rectangle. Now, yes, I guess the bottom one is doing a little bit of a fade. I think I might have, let me unlock it. That's the top one. Let me unlock this one. I might have had it up a little bit more. Let's see how that looks. So that's pretty quick and easy, and I'm sure there's a lot of other different ways that you can do this. Again, like I said, I forgot how I did it way back in 2020, but um, I remember I made it for students who were graduating, but it was 2020 and COVID, and so they didn't have a real graduation, so I had made just a video for them. Um, but there's a quick way to do it. Play around with it, see how it looks for you. Um, might like that a little bit more. I'd have to check what my other one looked like. Um, but you can make your own scroll. Now the music was, you can get it in Twinkle and you can also get it in Create Studio if you have all access and it's called These Nights. So if you go to, sorry, the music, um, I had been searching for different ones, but this is called These Nights. So if you search These Nights, there it is. And it was the closest thing I could find to kind of a Star Wars genre. Have fun. May the fourth be with you.